And welcome back. If you wear a hat, heat loss from your body will be reduced by 50%. Well, teachers are always looking for new ways to get their students excited about learning. Chris Higgins now with growing that excitement one vegetable at a time. This really gives us a lot of uh, entrances to uh, explore some of the information that we're learning in school. Over the last two school years, Bob Shaw and his MICDS students have transformed this rooftop courtyard into a living laboratory. It's part of an ongoing project designed to take the youngsters through the experience of planning, building, and sustaining an agricultural business, which they are literally building from the ground up. Uh, this has been a junior kindergarten through fourth grade program. Our students in uh, second, third, and fourth grade last year built this greenhouse. It was like a you know life-size Lego set for us. And once they had it built, the students had to figure out what best to grow in it. The students had an opportunity to choose what they what they wanted to plant, and they looked at several aspects. One was the seeds, how long it would take to germinate and propagate. They also factored in what kind of harvest they would get. Tomatoes can produce pounds and pounds of tomatoes individually, or you know you're going to plant a carrot and get a carrot out of that seed. It was really fun. I also liked growing the plants because it was my first time growing something. They tinker with their information, what they already know, and apply it to what we're learning that's new. And they also get to share and communicate with each other and, and think creatively and try different things and experiment and test, which is what science is all about. One of those experiments involved growing tomatoes upside down. We tried one of those. It grew really well, but it never produced the tomatoes that we were hoping for. But there's more to this program than just science and agriculture. These kids are learning about real world economics as well. We looked at supply and demand, uh, input costs versus expenses and income. And whether it's the science or the economics, the kids just seem to love it. Well, one thing that saves the money, so it makes me feel good about that. And it tastes good too. <laughs> Some of the vegetables in that MICDS garden have actually been used in the school's cafeteria. They've even sold some of it off to Lovey Dovey's Cafe in Benton Park.